good afternoon world we've just arrived in Dapa this is apparently the economic hub of Shargao Island <laughs> so what we were planning on doing today is trying to see if we can find Christmas now this might sound a bit weird as it's September but Filipinos around the world have been telling us to look out for this Christmas actually starts now and all over the Philippines people have started celebrating Christmas when it gets into the Burr months like September, October, November. We haven't really been actively looking for evidence of this but because we're in like one of the main areas today for multiple reasons we thought we'd keep our eyes open for it today. This is obviously a bit weird for us as British people isn't it? Because Christmas we don't like it to start until it's ready. So at least December. <laughs> yeah. When it starts early in England you're normally talking about November aren't we? Story the baby is fast asleep, she's having a little rest. I'm just gonna go grab some cash from the bank because who knows, I might be doing some Christmas shopping today. <laughs> but the real reason I'm getting cash out of the bank is because our car has been repaired and the mechanic is just over there. So that will be the first stop of the day after we got the money. Looks like the cash machines are taking a break today. Oh no, no cash. No, and this is like the biggest bank in town. It's not looking good for a Christmas day, sir. <laughs> All the ATMs are boarded up or broken. I think we'll have struggled to get cash out of that one. And there was one just down the road that was also out of order and only giving out balance inquiries, no cash. So I think there's one more. Just gonna go get some money out, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another bank with no cash. Nope. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, Joe's just checking the last bank. Did Daddy get the money? Nope. No? That machine just flat out said I don't deal with foreign cards. <laughs> oh no. I think it's because okay. it's a rural bank. Oh. It's alright, I've got enough cash to get the car I think. Okay. There's Biddy story. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to getting ba Biddy back. Yeah. yeah. Mechanic hasn't arrived yet. Should we go get some rice, Story? Uh -huh. This was the place I came with Ben the other day. All right. I'm feeling extremely hungry, actually. Hungrier than usual. So two gonna... order? Yeah, two of those, please. Yeah. Uh, feeling hungry, Story? Yeah. Salamat. 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 Okay. I'm just decorating your rice, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you have to dig in. Yeah. I have a little bit of rice. Good lunch? <laughs> you strange girl. So we've got eggplant and pumpkin. Okra. Oh yeah. Lady's finger. It tastes very much like a Thai curry, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. I can taste ginger. Yeah. Ginger. I think the sauce might actually be the pumpkin blended as well, what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Look at this story, this is looking good. Banana, banana and mango shakes. You want to try some? Cold? <laughs> Made you blink, didn't it? Yeah. What's your fruit shake review? Oh, the sun's come out now. Yes, been... I'm my sunglasses. <laughs> How was your lunch? Good. The shake was nice. The it was. Mango, mango and banana juice. With ice, right? Yeah. Very nice. Made with ice and no milk. <laughs> the total bill for everything was only 220 pesos. Oh, here we go. Right, we are getting the car back. There's the mechanic. There he is. Good morning, well, we're getting busy today and Daddy's just fi fixing it. Daddy are fixing the car. 
So that's the first job of the day sorted. The total cost to have all of that sorted out was 7,950. They've sorted the clutch, they've sorted the carburetor and all of the broken hoses and got new fuel pumps. The labor cost was about 3,500. I think it's a fair price and I'm glad to be back in this car again. I'm glad to. Yeah, he's glad to get Biddy back. Okay, let's get on with the next part of the day. Okay, we're in the store. This is probably like one of the biggest shopping malls on the island. But my ones. Yeah, they're Marvel superheroes. That's the Hulk. <laughs> Look at this mannequin tripping hazard. <laughs> yeah, we don't need a toilet brush though, do we? No, we already got one. Yeah, we're actually looking for some stuff for some dogs, aren't we? And try it on? Yeah. Hmm, not bad. A bit big. For big people, do you want So looking around, there's no Christmas decorations at all. No tinsel, no nothing, no trees for sale. Can't see any evidence of Christmas here. Can you, Story? No. But we can find a toilet plunger. A toilet plunger? No, it's for unblocking toilets. It's called a toilet oh, plunger. Oh, Yeah, it's rubber. What have you I, seen? I, I saw this. What are you going to do with it? I'm, I'm, I'm going to see, see how you do it. If you buy that though, then you have to do the cleaning on the house every day. I know. I'm just trying to clean here. What have you seen up there? I saw a rocking thing, but I, I, it's too babyish. Yeah, you're a bit too big for that now. Too big. Do you remember when you used to sleep in a cot like that? Yeah. You were so small then, weren't you? Yeah. Oh look, a baby chair. A bad baby chair. That's right, and a pram. Yeah, and a pram. You don't see many people using those here in the Philippines, do you? <laughs> Damage me, buy me. I don't need to speak the language to read that. <laughs> Okay, we're out of the shop, taking a little break outside. Story wanting to get out of the shop. I'm definitely seeing no sign of Christmas here whatsoever. And we said to each other, if it was going to be anywhere, it would be here in Dapa, in this shopping mall, definitely. I'm so tired and sweaty. Yeah, we're going to go for a little walk after this, okay? We need to see if we can find some dog beds. I don't want to have a We've mentioned a few times now that we're looking for dog stuff, and that's because we want to visit a dog shelter in a few days, so we thought it'd be nice if we could take some stuff along. They said they need things like dog collars and beds and perhaps some food. So we're going to look around and see if there's anything we can get especially from here. I have to admit though, every time I've come to Dapa, the shopping trip has always been a bit unsuccessful. Each of the boxes. Yeah. And, and, then, and then next you, you have to do this. I see. How do you do it? I'll show you later. Too hard at the moment. Mummy's back. Mummy! <laughs> is that your angry cue face? Alright, this is the main cross section in Dapa by the big bank. They've got all these cool wicker baskets here at this shop. You can use this one for your pesos. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like a little money purse, yeah? Oh, th this is quite a uh, key. That's quite a good idea, actually. Quite it's like a that. Key. I could put some pesos in there, couldn't I? It's quite a key. You like it? Yeah. This is the place to be if you want to get your wicker goodies. Look at the size of this leaf fan. It's massive. This is only 199 but I think that price is wrong. Can't be that cheap, surely not. What shape is that? There's a pig. A little wicker pig. It's an elephant. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, a... <laughs> it's an elephant, why? <laughs> yeah, like a pig. This is nice, isn't it? Or we can have a... Let's have it for a picnic. You want to use it like a picnic basket? Do you like that hat? No. <laughs> Too ugly. Oh, it's pretty. Story, is that your favourite one? Yeah. <laughs> it does suit you. This is a brilliant shop actually. We're going to get some of these wicker goodies, all locally made. It's a treasure trove of goodies. Story's just made her purchase. It was 750 for the set of three. <laughs> Thank you. You happy with your pato? It's the same word in, the, in Bisaya as um, Portuguese. Patos. Because you're very big. And Dad, you're so medium. Yeah, I'm medium. So we've got one each, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, shall we go? Put them in the car? Thank you. Okay. Ducks in. 
Get all your ducks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we've spent all day unsuccessfully trying to find Christmas here on Shargao Island. Okay. And then just where we've parked, we've discovered this. <laughs> this so far is the only evidence of Christmas I can find here on the island. It's a coconut Christmas tree story. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's not finished yet. Needs a bit more work, doesn't it? I really love it, Dad. It is nice. Yeah, it's made out of rope, isn't it? I'm not going to drop that one, is it? Stunning view, isn't it? That's the one that we've got. We're going home now. We are going to go home, aren't we? Yeah. Look at how clear and beautiful this water is. This is the port. Yeah. <laughs> I love the ocean. Yeah, we know you do. It's so green though. It's beautiful. It's so green. In the shade of the sea. We didn't quite find Christmas here on no, Shargao Island. Not. No, half finished coconut tree. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas is pending on the island. <laughs> and I think it really does go to show that Shargao Island is extremely different from the rest of the Philippines in many ways. And as we live here longer, we're definitely going to create more videos like comparing what we know about here to what we find out from the rest of the Philippines in the future. So we've sat down in the shade of the heart outside the port here. Beautiful place, there's a little breeze. We're going to do today's shout outs. Happy birthday, vegan Rose! Good girl, she's going to be four years old. Yeah, like me. Yeah, you'll be four years old. We're going to match. <laughs> she can come in, in November with me. I don't know if she can travel yet. And this shout out came from your Lola, Lou Pino. We have a lovely picture of you as well, Regan. Here we go. There's little Regan Rose herself. Her. Very pretty dress. Think of Regan Rose. Yeah, she has a pink dress. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Next up, we're doing a shout out for Jolie, who's living in the northern part of Mindanao. Yeah, a first year medical student. You are an aspiring doctor. Here's a photo of you. You can just about see it in the bright light. <laughs> Hi, Jolie. <laughs> Sounds like you've been watching our vlogs for a while. Yes. Thank you for supporting the videos. And it's good to know that these videos have been a stress reliever for you. We started this little lockdown diary as kind of like a bit of a stress reliever for ourselves, didn't we? Exactly, yeah. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And now the last shout out we're going to do for today is for Cherie, who's going to be turning 53 tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> you are from Dimagetti. Negros Oriental and you are stranded in Cagayan de Oro ah. because of the pandemic. Well I hope you'll be able to get home soon. Yes and hope you're having a lovely birthday. So the reason why we did a little shout out for tomorrow is because we're actually not going to publish a video tomorrow because we'll be traveling, we'll be doing our visas, we've got quite a lot on our minds and we just want to be able to concentrate on that. So there'll be a bit of a delay in the videos but we'll be back very soon. Yes we will. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. Bye.